space. It's the final frontier for adventure and possibly high-tech recycling. In tonight's Weekend Journal, Barry Peterson takes a look at some of the groundwork being done to capitalize on thousands of old orbiting satellites. Here's how it works now. You build things like satellites on Earth and spend millions launching them into orbit. But that's about to change. Recycling is headed for the stars. Dr. Angel Abud Madrid is director of the Center for Space Resources at the Colorado School of Mines. Now you can use that to create probably parts of satellites, entire structures in space. You can use it as a propellant. Today, when satellites run out of fuel, they become just more space debris, debris that can hit other space objects. With moving gravity, it wiped out an entire space station. But behind this garage door in Boulder, Colorado, Gary Colden and Joe Powelski of CisLunar are using electricity to melt aluminum into these cylinders, a process that needs no oxygen. Now you can see this is starting to feed down into the um, rod, and you'll see it. If you look over there, you can see it start to melt. Their research is funded in part by NASA. There we go. Because they will get the aluminum to melt in space by sending their equipment into space. Some companies are already scrambling to use that aluminum as a fuel for satellites. OrbitFab calls it gas stations in space. Others, like Astroscale, are testing ways to collect dead satellites. Recycled debris could mean building what's needed for space in space, even making the structures to colonize the moon and build spaceships to Mars. If you're gonna have humans on the moon, you have oxygen, it's on the rocks get it from there. You've got water, water they, they use for drinking, water they can split it into hydrogen and oxygen. If you need to build anything, use the dust and the rocks that are there. Back in that Colorado garage, Gary Coleman has the kind of boldness that has powered mankind on every journey that ever mattered. I don't want to be disparaging here, but I have to remind you that we're sitting in a garage in Colorado, <laughs> and this is your operation. Yeah. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine that you're going to go from here to someday building a rocket ship on the moon that takes us into the galaxy. Sure. But you believe that. Absolutely. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Boulder, Colorado.